Hey everybody, we're going to take a look at how to open up Publisher and how to get to the newsletter portion of Publisher. So we want to find Publisher and here it is right here. So we're going to open that up and you can see that I'm logged in here and here are some recent Publisher documents that I have demonstrated recently for students. Uh, so what we want to do, let's go to New and you can see that there's a lot of built-in templates right here for cookbooks, thank you cards, birthday invitations, lots of things like that that could be very helpful depending on what project you're doing. And if we click right here to built-in, then we have a lot of more things here, a lot more things to choose from, even business cards, calendars, invitations and what we're going to be doing is using the newsletters template uh, newsletters right here so we're going to click on that and wow you can see when we open up newsletters that there are a bunch that are installed here that we can choose from and what's neat about this is there's so many different options that if you like this design but you don't like the colors you could also click over here on the side and perhaps come up with a different color scheme that you like and perhaps even a different font style that you would like and you can pick how many pages for a project here in my class we're only gonna, only gonna need a one page newsletter so instead of uh, going back and deleting the extra pages we can pick how many pages we want right there and uh, if we like this one we're okay with it we're gonna go ahead and click create and it put extra pages over here on the side if you don't need those you can right, right click and delete them All right, so we're down to one one page. Now, you've got to realize that this stuff here is just filler to show you what your newsletter could look like, all right? That doesn't mean that you necessarily need to leave all this stuff on here. So, obviously, depending on what your newsletter is about, you could uh, certainly delete this picture and go to insert and find an online picture or one on your computer you know depending on what your newsletter is about so you can change the title here the toolbar is going to be one that you're going to be familiar with using word and powerpoint and just the typical microsoft programs word art is up there uh, lots of different customization features here but you don't have to leave these things like they are so if, if this does not suit your needs or you don't need this stuff here you can delete it right? you don't have to leave it like that you can change it up but this just gives you a nice uh, several different vertical columns here to show you how it could look and what you know give you some ideas and if this doesn't suit your needs then you can go back and choose one of the other loaded templates that might suit your needs better so we're going to be using this for a project in my class but if you're watching this from somewhere else this might be something that could work for you and your project so that is how to get to the newsletter templates in Microsoft Publisher lots of different choices if we go back and take a look again go back to built-in newsletters and you can see again lots and lots of different choices different color color options on the side and you just need to pick what works for you and if you want to start with something blank you could even do that
All right, hope this gets you started on your newsletter project in Microsoft Publisher.